Hi, my name is Crystal Berger with the Molecular Devices Technical Support Group. In this video, I will show you how to easily set up a plate read using Softmax Pro Microplate Data Acquisition and Analysis Software version 6.4. After you open Softmax Pro, click on Untitled 1 to bring up a basic endpoint protocol. The basic endpoint protocol contains preset standard groups and settings that will automatically plot your standard curve, average data replicate sets, and calculate unknown concentrations by interpolating the unknown sample values from the standard curve. The easiest way to set up your plate read is to use the plate setup helper. If the plate setup helper does not automatically pop up, click anywhere in the plate window to activate the menu, and then click on the magic wand. The plate setup helper will guide you through each step in the software to set up a template and acquire data. We will begin by connecting your instrument. As you can see in the upper left hand corner, the Spectrumax M2E that I wish to use is not connected. To establish a connection, first make sure all of the cables are securely plugged in to both the instrument and the computer. If you are using the serial port to USB key span adapter, make sure that you are using a USB 2.0 port, not a 3.0 port. Once you confirm that all the cables are plugged in and that your instrument is on, click on the button to choose your instrument connection. If you do not see your instrument appearing in the available instrument section, you can click refresh or power cycle both your instrument and the computer to establish a connection with your instrument. Once you find your instrument connected, click OK and this will bring us back to the plate setup helper. Next, we will configure the acquisition settings. In the settings window, you will see the different read modes available to you, as well as the different read types. In this example, I will show you an absorbance read that is taken at one endpoint. I will have two wavelengths, one being the wavelength of interest and the second being a reference wavelength. To do this, Select the number of wavelengths, then you can type in the values for these wavelengths. Next, select the plate type you will use. For an absorbance assay, you need to use a clear plate. Then you may select whether you read the entire plate or just a small portion. Please note that the well selected must be contiguous. When you are finished with your selections, click OK. At this point, you may read your plate. After you read your plate, you may not choose a different instrument and you cannot change your acquisition settings. However, you can make changes to your plate layout, analysis settings, and display settings after you read your plate. Or you could continue on and set all of this up before you read your plate. So next, we will go to the template editor to configure the plate layout. The basic endpoint protocol contains preset groups. You may add new groups or you may edit existing groups. If I would like to change the units of my standards group, click on standards and then edit. From the pull down menu, you may select the units you wish to use. I will begin by setting up a plate blank. To do this, highlight the wells where your blank will be and click plate blank. The values read in these wells will be automatically subtracted from the values in the rest of the wells. But don't worry, the raw data will always be saved and you can always make changes to this template. Next, I will set up my standards. You may do this one by one or you can edit in bulk as a series. Highlight the wells you wish to use for your standards and then click on Standards. Next, you'll want to click on Series. Here, you can make changes to the sample name, as well as set the step of the concentration. Next, I will set up again a series of unknowns. You can have unknowns without dilution factors or with dilution factors. In this example, I'll show you without. Click on Unknowns and then click on Series. 
My samples will be in replicates of three, so make sure that the pattern of replicates is set correctly, and then assign your starting sample name. When you're finished with your template, click OK. Next, we will choose Data Analysis Settings. Here, you can decide whether or not to apply the plate blank, change your raw data mode, or change your wavelength options. In this example, I am reading at two different wavelengths. LM1, or the first wavelength, is 450 nanometers, and LM2, the second wavelength, is 570 nanometers. I would like to subtract the values from the 570 nanometer reading from the values from the 450 nanometer wavelength reading. To do this, click on the drop down menu and select LM1 minus LM2. All of these options in the data reduction window can be changed after you read a plate. So if you decide you want to have a different wavelength option, you can. Finally, we will choose the display settings. You may view your data as raw data with or without the reduced value or reduced to data alone as a number or color. This too can be changed after you read the plate. Your raw data will always be saved with your Softimax Pro file. To read your plate, simply click on the green read button. For more information on Softmax Pro, click on the Help tab and go to Softmax Pro Help to access the digital user guide. The formula reference guide contains all of the information needed to write custom formulas and learn the syntax of Softmax Pro. Finally, if you have any questions or need help with your data files, please contact technical support at 1-800-635 5577, option 3, or send an email to support at moldev.com.